Now the next feature is S3 security. So when you create a S3 bucket, the owner of the bucket has been given only permission to that bucket. So it's automatically secure. Nobody else can open that bucket or do any stuff on that bucket. Also, Amazon S3 supports user authentication to control access to data. You can use access control mechanisms such as bucket policies and ACLs to selectively grant permissions to users and groups of users. So suppose you want some of the users to see the data in your S3 bucket. So you can just create a group in IAM and you give that group read only permission to your bucket so they will be able to see the objects within your bucket but they can't harm any of the objects in your bucket also you can securely upload download your data to amazon s3 via ssl endpoints using the https pro protocol apart from that if you need more security you can use server side encryption and client side encryption to secure the data at rest or in transition. Now let's move on to some of the use cases of Amazon S3. The first and foremost uses is backup and archiving. Amazon S3 offers a highly durable, scalable and secure destination for backing up and archiving your critical data. Also, it provides you lifecycle policies so that you can transition your data from frequently accessed storage class to infrequent access storage class as we discussed earlier so that will save your cost and that will segregate your data on the basis of the frequency of uses another is content storage and distribution so you can use s3 for storing your content and use the contents in the S3 to deliver it to different locations and regions in the world uh, using edge locations. And this uh, particular technology, this particular uh, mechanism is called Content Delivery Network, CDN. We will discuss this further in this lecture. So Content Delivery Network may use S3 buckets to deliver the contents at different points and different regions on the globe. S3 buckets can be used for hosting a static website. You can place all your web contents within S3 bucket and make them public so that it can be accessible over net using browser. And as we discussed, S3 buckets have a URL so it can be easily accessible over net. Now disaster recovery. Amazon S3 is highly durable, secure and global infrastructure. Provides a robust disaster recovery solution designed to provide superior data protection. Even the cross-region replication auto provides a highly available infrastructure over different regions. However, for cross-region replications, you need to enable versioning so that the data is consistent across regions. Apart from that, S3 can be used in big data analytics uh, where you are using, uh, you are storing lot of pharmaceutical or financial data or multimedia files into the S3 bucket and uh, it offers a comprehensive portfolio for services to help you manage your big data by reducing cost, scaling to meet demand and increase the speed of innovation. It can also be used for cloud native application data. Since it's highly available and cost effective, it can play a really useful role in cloud native application data. S3 can also be used for um, hybrid cloud storage for busting, tiering, and migration. Uh, the AWS Storage Gateway helps you build hybrid cloud storage, augmenting your existing local storage environment with the durability and the scale of S3. Um, it, you can use it to burst a workload from your site into the cloud for processing and then bring the results back. So it's uh, quite useful in migration projects and it's uh, cheaper than on-premises storage and 
it is scalable to meet your demands.